Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to Exploration Theme Parks and today I'm at Universal Studios in Hollywood, California. It's going to be a quick day but I'm mainly here. I want to check out the update, the construction update on the new Fast and Furious roller coaster and get on a couple rides of course. So let's get to it. Making the walk from the parking structure to the park. Need to walk through City Walk first. Let's go. City walk to the front of the park. It's definitely a cooler day for Southern California. I think right now it's about 48 degrees and it'll be like maybe 60 later today. So yeah, I'm not gonna be here all day. I wanna for sure take a look at the construction progress on the new coaster, Fast and Furious. Get on a couple rides. I'm gonna skip uh, Super Nintendo World today. I'm gonna see if my strategy works, if everyone goes down there first and I stay on the upper lot, so let's see. So Universal Globe still isn't spinning. It's got the mist going, but yeah, it's not spinning. All right, we made it into the park. It's a uh, Saturday morning in January and I looked at the line for Mario Kart and it says 50 minutes and that's because of early access at 8 and I've seen it way worse and there wasn't a huge line of people coming into the park so it might not be as crowded as it's been lately when I've come to the park. But I think I'm gonna head to Wizarding World of Harry Potter first and try to get on Flight of Hippogriff. It's a very tame coaster, of course, but it's always has such a long line and it's definitely not worth the wait for me. It's 8.30 and they hold you up as they open parts of the park up. All right, so they're walking us further into the park now. The park is scheduled to open at 9, but they always let you in early just to scan tickets and get people into the park. They have some construction up on that building. Don't know what they're doing there. Oh, and I see cranes on the Fast and Furious site. Oh my gosh. I'm going to come back for that, though. This is a sneak peek. And here's Hogsmeade. Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh, it's so cool looking. So yeah, I haven't ridden Flight of the Hippogriff in a long time, because again, every time I've come, it's like a 50 minute hour wait, and <laughs> it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna try to get on that, and then uh, Forbidden Journey which is a really cool dark ride. And then go from there. <laughs> but yeah, Wizarding World of Harry Potter is super cool. The, the theming is just out of this world. And there's Hogwarts. Hogwarts Castle. Look at that. First person in line for Flight of Hippogriff. Let's go. Some funny sounds in the queue line. Yeah, 
Yeah, they have Flight of the Hip Griff at Universal Orlando too. Here we go. Hey, just one. Thank you. All right, had the front row on Flight of Hippogriff first ride of the day. Definitely a tame coaster. It's very short, definitely not worth like an hour wait. But it is a really good like family cake coaster because it's really tame. And you know, it's got like the theming of Harry Potter. So that's cool as well. All right, time for Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Let's go. Entering Hogwarts Castle. There's the lockers if you have bags. This queue has the potential to get really long. I know that when it first opened, it was ridiculous wait times. Definitely a great dark ride though. Now we're going back inside the castle. We still got some Christmas decor up. Candy. Love the new pictures. Yeah, the queue, the queue line is in this is like a ride in itself. Super cool. Massive. Yeah, last time I went on this, I waited in all this queue. Oh, Christmas! And there's the sorting hat. Which house are we? These benches are not safe for you. If you were still too small, you must be more than a goblin. That's not the station. Station. Here we go. Hopping on. Exit through the gift shop. Oh yeah. Just got off of Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Walk on ride. Very cool dark ride. Nice and long great mix of screens and you know 
real effects. Uh, if you get motion sickness, probably not the best ride for you. But yeah, it's if you haven't been on it, it's worth it. And look, like look, in the windows, they just got things moving. So cool. Let's check out a shop. Got some jerseys. Rooms. Oh, I think this is the lawn shop. Yep. And of course, the famous butter beer. But yeah, all the shops in here are super cool. The facades are awesome. Very nice themed area. You got Ollivander's, which is like a, some type of show. That's why there's a line right there, 10 minute wait. Now all posts. Yeah, so the park was scheduled to open at 9. They opened the gate at 8.30. I got on Flight of the Hippogriff and Forbidden Journey, and it was only 9.02 a.m., so pretty good. Let's check out Honeydew, see what kind of sweets they got. Yeah, the presentation is awesome. Peppermint toads. Oh, and Nikki would be in heaven. Oh, so many goodies. Super cool. Got some plushies. Fast and the Furious, new ride, get ready. They have the construction walls painted black with the sign up. And this is where the station's gonna be. And you can see they got some cranes going on. So I'm gonna try to get different angles, but you can see there's some concrete columns up right there. And then of course they got the cranes very interesting and cool all right so i'm still on the upper lot i'm gonna walk around this way see if i can grab a view over here in the corner of super silly Funland. and while i'm over here i think i might try to go on uh despicable me minion mayhem i don't think i've been on it in a while but trying to get some different views of the construction site today while riding some rides already got two down yeah i'm gonna try to go over in this corner over here let's see if we can get a cool view even if i wanted to do super nintendo world i can 
amateur, I forgot my power up band. Unforgivable. Don't know if many kids will be going in here in the splash pad today. It's definitely cooler today in Southern California. Ooh, here's a view of the construction going on. Lots of work going on. Oh, wow. I wonder if that is like a retaining wall that's going up right there. And then again, those support columns, or the concrete columns. I wonder if that's for the station maybe. And then you got this really big crane right here. Oh yeah, lots of active work going on right now. This is the hillside that they started leveling out a few months ago. You can see some of the heavy machinery moving. There's construction workers on site. This project is full speed ahead. Wow, this is exciting. I'm trying not to drop my phone, but you can see it goes all the way down there. I believe that's where the coaster is going to go all the way down to and back. Yeah, there's so much work going on right now. It's going quick. This is something that Universal Studios Hollywood desperately needed. Roller coaster wise, it's either Flight of the Hippogriff or Mummy. So this is going to be a game changer for this park. So the station's up there, and it's going to be all along this hillside, all the way down there. And it's blocked, the pile of dirt's blocking it right now, but that first escalator over there, that's where there's going to be some sort of dive element that goes up and over, under it. And in renderings, you can see that it has like, a similar like enclosure as the escalators and I think that's for the sound you know when all this news started coming up about the new coaster this park was actually blasting roller coaster sounds and screams from up here where the animal actor show used to be and I think that was just uh, like sound testing because there are surrounding like homes, apartments, and even the studios. So they wanted to make sure that, you know, it, it, they could do this coaster, like a thrill coaster. And again, this park just desperately needed it. They're very limited on space here versus, you know, Universe Orlando, which is obviously building Epic Universe. And, you know, our Super Nintendo World down there is, is smaller than all the other ones just because of space. But this coaster is going to put this park on the map for coast, coaster enthusiasts to come out here. And, you know, it's 30 minutes away from my home. So I am so excited for this coaster. So excited to see what it, it does and is and how the elements are. And if there's going to be like a drifting aspect to it since it's fast and furious. And there's been those rumors. So, yeah, it's... It's gonna be so cool. And I'm, I, I wanna try to do like 
more construction updates like solo construction updates as you know the project progresses more as opposed to including it in the vlog but today you know I wanted to get on some rides do some vlogging and obviously get some construction progress shots as well and yeah this is a heavy duty crane right here and then you got a smaller one up there and again lots of heavy machinery equipment lots of construction workers and this is during the day on a saturday so this this project yeah they're they're ramping it up i'm curious is when they're going to try to open it whether it's going to be like late 2024 or more 2025 but let's go on another ride despicable me and then i'll get some other angles and shots of the construction site let's go So there's Secret Lights of Pets. That's a fun dark ride. And then we got Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, another cool dark ride. And let's go ahead and get in line. Still got some Christmas decorations going on. I like the yellow tree. All right, I think on the app it said 15 minute wait. Let's see if that is true. one at a time, but I'm working on something really big today, so I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Gru. What's your name? Where are you from? Well, that might be impressive. Question, question, question. You will be turned into minions. Months ago, my chief scientist, Dr. Navarro, created a device that could turn everyday boring civilians like you into minions. At first, there were a few minor snags. And a few major snags. Although I kind of like that guy. And that guy. Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> that guy really knows how to party. You too can become a minion. Wow, look at that. I know, right? It's pretty spectacular. Just some high density lasers. They're very, very powerful. <laughs> if anyone's thinking of backing out, I warn you, I will hit you with my fart gun. Oh yes, I'm packing this store at the payoff. Whether it be minions or farts. Minions or farts. Ignore them. And no way will he shoot you with a fart gun. Oh, no. Exit through the gift shop. Got the minions over there. And we're in super silly fun land. Oh yeah. Just got off of Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. You know, it's 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 an okay ride. I haven't been on it in a really long time. It's like a motion-based green cinema-based ride. Um, you're just in a big room uh, with a bunch of people in like independent like cars, 
and it's just like little motion simulator with a big screen. Um, it's a cute ride. I'm sure, you know, the little kids love it. Uh, I do like uh, Secret Life of Pets a lot better than Despicable Me. But it was good to get on it. It's been a while. So let's keep going. They got the Minion Cafe right here. With the Santa hat on. Moulin Rouge. Yeah, it was good to get back on it. I, I It actually has been a really long time since I've been on it. I like forgot what the ride was. Yeah, definitely like Secret Life of Pets better than Despicable Me, but still good ride. All right, so I think I'm gonna go hop on the escalators to head down towards the lower lot and see if I can get some more shots of the construction side of the new Fast and Furious roller coaster. Yeah, so here I think is where the Grinch was. Unfortunately, I didn't get to come out. I was gonna try, but my pass was blacked out. I got a big Christmas tree set up and this still closed off. But yeah, I think that's where the Grinch meet and greet was, which I've seen so many videos of it and it looks really cool, but I do know it can get a really long line as well. And now we're walking past the construction walls part in our stardust while we enhance our universe fast and furious new rad get ready yeah not too bad so far the wait times aren't that crazy mario kart's an hour and a half but honestly that's not that bad and uh you can always go single rider line too and right now we're entering springfield see a little closer shot of those concrete columns. Springfield is pretty cool. Don't know how long it'll last. I don't know, you know, what their contract is with the Simpsons. I do think the Simpsons ride has run its course. I never really was a fan of it. Like this whole looks awesome. The ride itself just isn't that great. Honestly, I like Back Back to the Future better. But here we go, lower lot. Let's go. So you can see here, a bunch of construction going on right here. This is the first escalator and I believe this is where the coaster will go under or up and under. But regardless, I think it's gonna go around this escalator right here and that's why we see you know the hill being graded i think what are those like wood planks or something so just went down the first flight of stairs yeah it looks like those are wood planks i don't know what for yeah, I just looked at the plans and according to it, you know, it's going to run all right here and under this and over this first escalator right here and then go all the way down there as well on that lower hillside. So yeah, a good chunk of the ride I think is going to be right here. The station's up there, come down over and under this escalator along this hillside and then a stretch all the way down there. So I'll have a nice long layout, which will, which will be really nice. And of course, Universal Studios Hollywood provides an epic view. Oh, look at that. The mountains in the background. Big golf course right there. Studios down here. Super cool. So yeah, again, up there, over here, right there, and then stretch down there again lots of work active work going on on site this is exciting to see oh my gosh I cannot wait for this Just got down to the lower lot. 
The app says the mummy's only a 15 minute wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in line. There we go. Uh, the lines actually don't look bad on the app. Mario Kart obviously has the longest and right now it says a 100 minute wait. And I'm going on mummy in a single rider line. Let's go. And we are at the station. Oh yeah. Just got off for of Revenge of the Mummy. Had a walk-on moment in the single rider line. It was actually a really good ride today. I don't know why. I mean, it's always short, but I had the back row. Had a couple of nice pops of airtime on it. I don't know. It felt like it was riding good today. I don't think I'll be riding Jurassic World today. Because it is chilly. Oh, and we got the raptor encounter. We got blue. Boundary of her territory. So this is a hyper-territorial response. She's literally showing you what is her territory, what's her space. What belongs to her? Let's proceed with So that big crane is actually moving. It might be attaching something to it right now. I think I'm gonna go grab a snack from somewhere and you'll we'll see really soon. Oh, we got Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Yeah. Oh, it's the whole Scooby-Doo crew. Nice. Yeah, they have uh, construction walls right up here in the front. Uh, another new massive coaster. Just kidding. All right, Nikki was working last night, so she was unable to come with me. But I got her these socks. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> she loves pickles, so. I just noticed that King Kong is dressed up for Christmas. That's super cool. So I think I'm gonna check out Voodoo Donuts because I don't think I've ever actually had one. So let's kind of, let's see what kind of specialty donuts they got. All right, so I just got a Voodoo Donut, the maple bar bacon one. Gotta try it. Mm. So good. So that's gonna do it for my day at Universal Studios in Hollywood. Hope you enjoyed the video. Rode a couple rides, or a few rides actually, and uh, got to see the progress on the roller coaster construction. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos, and remember, never stop exploring theme parks.